What is going on everyone and welcome back to PES 2021. We're back and yeah, I mean it's time to say goodbye to PES 2021. The servers are actually going offline as you guys probably know tomorrow. So with the launch of eFootball 2023, uh, I decided to go back and, and just revisit PES 2021 man because I... I think I played more of PES 2021 co-op than probably any other football game in the last maybe three to four years. I think PES 2016 and 18 were the two I really smashed online. But we did try to play some co-op. Now, I am going to try again tonight, obviously. So by the time I release this video, I will hopefully be recording a co-op game. I'm trying to arrange a 3v3. Um, I've just been really busy lately, but I could not find a casual match in matchmaking. Um, I was literally searching. I'd say I searched for about 25 minutes, um, and I searched for about 20 minutes to get a 1v1 match. So we did actually end up getting a couple of 1v1 matches. I think we got two. Uh, the connection wasn't great. There were two bar connections. Uh, I think I was playing one guy... I think it was like in Estonia or something and the other guy was in Italy so it wasn't obviously you know a close uh, server that we were playing on um, and again I haven't played PES 2021 in months I would say in probably near enough a year now more than a year probably um, and especially I still do play a little bit of co-op here and there and I did play co-op up until a couple of months ago um, but we do eventually get into a match and I just think, man, with PES 2021, a lot of people have uh, kind of a, 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 an expectation of it or they have fond memories of it, of when it was really, really good. And that's what I went into with this. I was like, right, I have an absolutely incredible team. Um, I play three at the back with a three-man centre-backs, uh, Campbell, Beckenbauer and uh, Piol. And um, we have Vieira, Ronaldinho, Beckham. We've got Maradona on the bench, Carlos and Trent on the flanks. Um, again, this guy is playing with Fisher. He's playing with the default Fisher uh, manager who was OP as hell with his tactics and he's playing as direct as he possibly can. Uh, he's practically playing a five at the back with Beckenbauer and Hernandez there. So listen, it doesn't matter how much time passes. It doesn't matter how old the game is. People are always going to be how they are and they'll always want to win by being sweats and they'll always want to win by you know it doesn't matter there's nothing to play for the game is literally ending tomorrow and this guy is still probably playing his try hard formation instead of having a bit of crack like i was doing and again uh it's not there's nothing wrong with that i'm just making a point you know everyone's entitled to play games the way they want to play them the same way as they're entitled to eat whatever food they want whatever movies they want to watch you know i can have my personal preferences of how i enjoy things other people have personal preferences how they enjoy things so something's not for me it's as simple as that. It's just not for me. It doesn't mean that, you know, I, I'm going to I'm gonna talk shit on this guy or whatever. But yeah, personally speaking, um, you know, I was just trying to have a bit of crack before the game ended. So uh, again, lads, right? I'm not going to go through the hype of this or not the hype of this. What am I talking about? I'm not going to go through like the kind of my thoughts on this of the gameplay and be reviewing the gameplay and stuff. I mean, personally speaking, I can sum it up that you'll see some of the goals I concede and some of the goals I score in this. Dribbling, I think, is like way, way worse than eFootball 22. I think the dribbling in eFootball at the moment is really, really good. It's not as kind of like linear. It's not as static. It's not like when you're turning to beat a man on dribble, you just have to kind of do the sharp 180 turns and like draw the player in before you burst past him. Keep your back to the player all the time. That's what works. And, you know, obviously the little cheeky little passes and stuff. It's a beautiful goal there from uh, Beckham, him and Nedved linking up like the two blonde beasts that they are. But yeah, I mean, the issues that started to rear their ugly head after just one game, the player responsiveness, the defending, oh man, the defending is so bad. The defensive AI in this, I think, is way worse than eFootball 2022. And I didn't see a lot of the defensive AI issues in PES 21 because I was playing with two other players in co-op. But yeah, I mean, it's literally, you get a break, people are just going to foul you, pick up their yellow card. There's no real punishment for it. It's all about closing down the passing lanes and, uh, you know, getting bodies in the line. And when that doesn't work, you will concede goals. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, I think the offensive AI is a lot worse as well, that the players don't make runs. They kind of stop up. They're more more kind of waiting to see what you're going to do. Um, when I think when I think this gameplay is the best, and it's always it's always been like this for me, is when you manually make a run, which was still in, obviously, at the time. When you manually make a run or you manually trigger runs and stuff like that, um, you know, little things like the quick sub feature and stuff like that, like little things like that were really, really good. And again, this guy was trying 
to play it very direct. Obviously, I kind of knew what he was doing, but I just couldn't stop him. And again, it's been ages and ages and ages since I played Pez 2021. But yeah, the kickoff and the long, the long, the long balls in over the top and the kickoff glitches and yeah just kind of letting the ai kind of make i think what it is right is i think pez 2021 and correct me if i'm wrong but this is my opinion of it and i'm not judging this just on one or two games i played at the end of the game's life cycle but i think my lasting memories of pez 2021 were the flat kind of defensive lines that the ai used to take up that is a really good example there and also the long balls when the ball went up into the air like this there was very kind of little control over how you could actually you know use it um, and again, when the ball goes in here, you can see, right, that's again, I'm caught completely flat at the back. Obviously, the manual goalkeeping is, is very poor, but I'm caught completely at the uh, flat at the back. But these are the balls I'm talking about. There's very little you can do with those. And that was actually a beautiful goal there. I'll give him that one. But he was just plonking these balls in left, right and center. And I couldn't really do anything about it. So, yeah, I think it's just when the ball was going up in the air, the, the actual defensive AI, they just didn't have a clue where the ball was. They didn't understand what was going on. So again, I would find that extremely hard to get used to if I was to go back, haven't played eFootball 2022. That was again a lovely shot um, and that's a sign of things to come because I do eventually get a second goal and I thought it was quite a nice goal. Look at that for a pass into Kaka, draw three men over including the goalkeeper and Rummy slots at home. So we would have better luck in the next game. It was a bit more, I think, yeah, it was a bit less sweaty, I think, a little bit more football being played. Um, but we do join up against a guy who was Division 1, I think. And as you can see, I'm only on 677 rating, lads. I haven't played this in a long, long time. And I think I'd only about less than 30 games 1v1. It was mostly co-op. But what were your thoughts on PES 21, lads? What were your lasting memories of it? Uh, you know, what was your, what did you like about it? What did you hate about it? Do you think that eFootball 22 is a vast improvement on it in certain areas or do you think it's a downgrade in certain areas let me know in the comments below because pez 2021 for me was always kind of like will always be a special game for me because i did enjoy playing co-op so much like i used to play every wednesday night i used to play with my brother and a good friend of mine one of my good friends the three of these come over and play three player co-op uh, pez 21 so i'll always have those memories and i really loved it win lose or draw you know be fighting with each other be hitting each other you know be kissing each other and like all that sort of stuff when we'd score goals um so i will obviously have all those memories and go mad with each other and slagging each other and you know having a few drinks having a few pizzas having the banter i think that's what gaming is all about as you kind of as you kind of want to enjoy it a bit more but yeah i mean issues with the gameplay i think notwithstanding like, what were your kind of last memories or your favorite memory of PES 2021? I think it could make for a really good episode of the podcast as well. You can just see here the ghost and pass. There's nothing I can really do. Really nice finish as well. But I started to play a bit of ball then in the 70th minute. I left it late, lads. I left it late. Lovely little movements. Lovely little uh, touching goals. Ronaldinho out. This is a really nice goal. I think I do this a lot in eFootball 22 is to just kind of change the pace, slow it down and wait for the players to make a run. It's not as hard to do it in eFootball 22. I think that the AI does a lot for you going forward in 22. But in PES 2021, the game just really shines in co-op when you've got guys manually making runs for you. And again, I do get a lucky winner with Maradona with an absolute screamer, a thunderbolt. But yeah, let me know your last memories of PES 21, lads, as Maradona goes crazy there. And I'll let the highlights run. Um, you know, PES 21 had a lot of issues in my opinion. I think that it kind of suited players that were extremely direct. And I think that eFootball 22, while it is gone that road a little bit, it has traveled down and it has flirted with going that road a little bit with balancing things in terms of, you know, if you get a ball and you intercept the ball, it can bobble sometimes. You can read a pass brilliantly and it will still find its way to the opponent's path or into the opponent's path through a deflection or through a bobble or through a misdirected pass or something like that that you don't really have much control over. But I still do think that there is more to like about eFootball than there isn't in uh, in the in the newest one. I just think that they've messed up a good lot of stuff with V1.4. I think with V1.0, I think that was giving me PES 2018 beta, you know, beta vibes. So let me know your last memories on it, lads. Let me know your favorite memory. If you've got any funny stories of, you know, your best win, your worst loss. Like, let me know anything that you did uh, enjoy about PES 2021 or that you hated. Is it good riddance to PES 21? Are you guys loving eFootball 22? Because believe it or not, there are people out there loving eFootball. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, lads. 
I will talk to you later. Hopefully, eFootball 2023 gets us back on track. We will see. All right, lads. Peace.